guys, gals, friends, and pals. This is Paul Eastex Twitch, and welcome to another episode of Saturday Game School, where we learn about a different game every Saturday of the year. Tonight, I'm joined on mic by Perfect Zero, Tom. And Tog. And Wolfblade, Ryan. Hey, guys. Tonight, we're pleased to be playing Call of Duty Vanguard for Xbox Series X. It's also on PlayStation 4 and 5. And... Activision's uh, PC Store, whatever that's called. So when you install this game, you've got a menu to play Call of Duty Vanguard, and then for some reason, the menu also offers you these other Call of Duty games. I guess they want it to be a launcher, and they want to encourage you to jump back and forth between all the different games? Yeah, that's a fair point. And like, people like Warzone... Warzone's free to play now, right? Isn't it? Yep. Regular. And that is for... Uh, that's the... Battle Royale experience, so yep. yeah, that way they can keep you playing Battle Royale even Nazi if you Germany, bought the new game, so the I guess it makes sense. The heart of darkness. The SOE had recruited the six of us under my oh. command. Alejandro says he does better in the battlefield. To retrieve files on the top secret Halo Infinite Project bundle. Phoenix, the last gasp of the Third Reich. A coalition of allied commandos thrown together and aimed um, at where our enemy was most vulnerable. You can barely see anything. How first... This is the darkest you ever Yeah, it's it's just that they're not lighting it properly. Uh, no, I'm pretty sure it's just no. I have no problems. It was dark. Then they opened the doors and there's light. And you say that every time something's too dark. You no, know, it's every time you say something. Would you look at that? Then you're the Hell of the world! <laughs> I'm pretty sure you What's are. What's up for saving it? I'm yep. the ISA certified technician. I know, but my That's settings are fine. The default settings are fine for everything. When one random thing in a million doesn't isn't very visible, it's because that one random thing is darker than the other things. Congratulations on being a Texan. Things aren't fine because you assume they are. Uh, um, yes. All right. You're going to go to the back of the line. Okay, we so we're starting out on a train, it looks like. This is actually like a, a really cool set piece that we're beginning with. I thought you were doing multi uh, zombies. Webnoy, thank you. Look, guys, it's our old friend Webnoy. Well, we are going to do zombies. I just wanted to show off one level of the campaign first. Maybe I forgot to tell you. I, I told Ryan. Yeah. My bad. No problems. Yeah, so just a little taste of the campaign. Because, you know, some people do quite enjoy the Call of Duty campaigns. I hear the writing is not very good or realistic in this particular one, but it's not like you really should expect that from uh, most Call of Duties. Every now and then, though, they'll do something different. Uh, and this one's the shortest, as only uh, like five hours apparently. Oh wow! Well, for me, that's actually a good thing because that means I might be able to get to the end without getting distracted by something else. Everyone, say hi to Webnoid though. It's so good to see him. If he's actually here, I mean, he resubscribed. Oh, friendly fire will not be tolerated. It just it just made me die because I shot one of the AI guys. Think we can pull this off? I'm back. If yeah, so train, we'll keep the park off. Note to self, don't do that. Yeah. Who's going first? No, man, you have a ah, crap. That time I died from falling off the train because one of the AI guys was in front of me as I was jumping. Hey, yeah, look, it is him. It's webbing away. That's so cool. Thank you for joining us. Did you join us because it's Call of Duty or did you off? just have a your schedule allowed you to attend today? I guess the daylight savings time thing might possibly help. I don't know. Who's going first? Novak, you have a guy. Everyone stay close. I'm just not going to shoot anything if my partners are all over the place and hitting you. You actually take the lead at this point. Oh, okay. As you're moving, you're in control. Gotcha. Hey, it's no time for games, too. Well, well, okay, no time. Yeah, it is. It's not! I don't think that's actually a thing. I don't think that's actually a thing. I'll cover you from this box Remember, I'll take your I don't picture. want them to see us coming. They can't see anything when they're dead. Let's go in tonight. No time for games. Ah, okay. Well, we're, we sure are glad you made it. Move between trains, sure. Well, the visuals are very good on Series X, that's for sure. Hey, look, it's Gavin McBacon. So good to see you, Gavin. Checking out some Call of Duty. Gavin, you don't have a PlayStation 5, do you? I'll get him to do some multiplayer with me. 
bloody hell. They know we're here. <laughs> yeah, that's Buddy, my... how you doing? Everybody looks the same with these dull colors, but it's a night scene. Oh god, I hit a AI I hit and one of my own guys again. You know, we may just fight that quickly. We may just have to switch over to zombies pretty soon if this keeps up, but let's see how it goes. Yeah, I mean I'm sorry, but everyone looks the same. If they're in front of you and <laughs> oh, Gavin does not have a PlayStation 5. Oh well. Told you, it's a mythical unicorn. They say it's out there. I don't really think it is. The audio <laughs> is too loud according to... Tell me if that helps, Lyle. I turned down the Elgato setting on OBS. But if it doesn't help, then I have to change something else. Don't you know, Icky, it's okay to be racist as long as it's against Nazis. Well, yeah, I mean... Ain't nobody likes a Nazi. Uh, if... Wrong country for that statement. <laughs> well, that's what I'm saying. But those people are buttheads. Oh, okay, so that did affect the setting. Well, that's cool. Okay, how about now? I just turned it up a bit. Platinum actually has it, um, uh, or has PS5. He's saying it'll take 45 minutes to download. Yeah, that, that's the problem. It would be too hard to get him in, right? Wouldn't it? Uh, the way you're going through this uh, first mission, not really. Hey. Doors locked. <laughs> Look for another way in. Use ledges to move down the side of the train. I don't want to walk along a ledge. Then go through the door. There's a door right there. Yeah, but it's locked. That's There's what it says. Shimmy down yes. it. Get inside. Then use the ledge. Shimmy down the ledge, it says. Uh oh, they're freaking Nobody. out. No, you don't. Bloody oak. Save some for us, Novak. <laughs> Biden, if you were regularly available to play with us, then then I definitely would say yes right away. Um, but you're kind of hard to get to play with us, aren't you? Because just whatever day I decide that we have to do more zombie stuff, everybody's got to be available. And Tom always is, and uh, Ryan is quite a lot. So what you're saying is we don't have lives. <laughs> no, I'm just... Apparently not. <laughs> hey, there's nothing wrong with your life involving some video games. That is true. That's what we're all about around here. Finally. Okay. Well, it's, it's up to you. I can spare the one code if if I'm guaranteed that, you know, things will work out. But if not, then you should save it. <laughs> Tyler, nice we're, we're going to give one to Tyler. He just wasn't able to play today, but he'll still play this other times. Why are you shooting dead people? Because I'm the kid from Sixth Sense. Oops. I just changed my gun and I didn't really want to. This gun's probably not as good. Uh, yeah, I'll change my gun. I'm it's not an automatic. Yeah. <laughs> Alejandro has a PlayStation TV. Is that a ladder? Yeah. Can I climb it? No. Nope. Okay. You have to go to right. the other tree. Gotcha. This right. entire segment, you're jumping back and forth. Not, nope. Go forward from the position you were at. Project Cars 2? Really? I've forgotten all about Project Cars 2. Do I even own that one? Let's not chance it. Take the you can open the latch time. and shoot the guys down in the. Uh, oh, in, good inside. idea. Thank you. Yeah, I already did this part of the mission. Nice. Yeah, I mean, how long is the level? It's not that long, is it? Before uh, it I didn't finish the mission because I wanted to make sure I had time for you. Aw. You're such a pal. Yes, but at this rate, I could have actually finished the mission probably. Uh, the other direction. You're going forward. Sorry for the miscommunication. Eh, no big deal. It's life. It's been a very hectic day. Yeah, somehow a client got my personal number and was calling me, begging me for info on their uh, network. Dang. Yeah. Well, anyway, Platinum, what I was saying is just let me know what you think. If you think, yes, I'll definitely be able to play this zombies mode with you in your early evening later this week, then tell me that and we'll make it happen. 
I can only play during the evenings, you know, and I'm an hour later than you, I guess, because of being in Central Time. Okay, where'd go? Ah, it's people, but they're on my side. Whoa, that's a lot of bullets coming from the side. This is exciting. Hey, tech guy, good to see you. Gavin, are you still with us? What are you up to today? You off work? I reached a checkpoint. Who's getting themselves killed? Oh. Ah! Okay, we're gonna take a quick break and hook Platinum up. And he's gonna download it really fast so he can actually play with us today. That's what he's telling us. That okay with you boys? No problem with here. You can use the turbo right. button on his internet. Yeah, for real, because... I mean, does it let you only download a part of it? If it lets you do that, then you could just download the zombies part. Uh, I don't know if it does on PlayStation or on Xbox it does. Wait, that's not the right code. Sorry, I sent the wrong code. Don't use that. There it is. There we go. Delete that one. Sorry, everybody. Okay, there we go. Then you have to join voice with us too, Platinum. There we go. All right. And we're back. Thank you for your patience, everybody. We do it all so we can show you some sweet four player zombies action. So what does everybody think of the, the mission, though? I mean, it's pretty fresh, hopping back and forth between the trains and the wind. Oh, nice. No Time for Games likes the campaign as well. I'm just trying to get to the end of the train, right? Yep. Okay, we're gonna jump! Is that a bad guy? It is. Get down. Who, who else is shooting at us? Refill equipment. Yeah, let's see that. Whoa, do I have to shoot me along the edge again? Looks like I do. Alright. Ten to twelve back then. <laughs> Shitsu, that's he says I'm doing awful. That's cool, Shitsu. The map, the Might have to do with the fact that you're doing awful. That's not nice either. I mean, this is not my kind of game, but we have a good relationship with Activision, and so we might as well take advantage of it to have cool streams. That's true. Plus, being able to give my friends free games is always a nice thing. I like that. I got a turret. Let's do this. Oh, here we go. I got turret syndrome. It means I, I shoot uncontrollably. Anybody else want some? By the way, you can, blow, you can shoot through like small wooden th things. Are you serious? Uh, oof. <laughs> You cannot tell if they're on your side or not if you can't see the name. How do you keep dying on this one second? You made it through <laughs> without shooting a stupid ally. Well, I guess you just had good luck. To me, yes, the good luck was not just randomly pulling the trigger every time. It looked like a bad guy. General rule, if they're from behind you, they're on your side. Well, you, to be fair, these guys were on the right side, though. Yeah. They were, I mean, they were ahead and to the right. Yeah, but you weren't looking. They're coming, they're on both sides. You have to watch your corners as you're moving. You have, there's two trains. Yes, I know. Alright, here we go. I'm not a traitor. Go to this train then. That's a bad guy, right? 
Why do I not have my gun anymore? Did I run out of bullets? Is that what happened? Or you picked up something else? Yep. I, mean, I got a pistol. So you oh, probably take... probably an oh yeah. Yeah, that's what it is. Would you like some too, comrade? Okay, whatever. Yeah, I need more bullets. Ah, I'm getting shot too. Maybe if my AI guys would actually kill the bad guys. I guess they do. They do yeah. some, yeah. They do a lot, actually. Okay, do I have bullets for my gun now? Looks like I do. This is the world's longest train. The train in Spain is mainly on the plane. In case you didn't know. Okay, Gavin is excited for Halo Infinite, he says. My nephew. Yeah, that's on my uh, playlist. Yeah, I, I'm glad they're releasing a new one, you know? It's like, I don't know if I'll actually have time to play right when it comes out or anything. I'm honestly not that interested in Halo anymore. Oh. The last two kind of just... Uh, Novak, shoot the driver. Well, it just went kind of left field. This one, they're... I mean, they did a lot of testing and listening to feedback, so I really hope that that results in a pleasant experience. Well, the problem is they made the multiplayer the very much a hardcore player thing. Jump, soldier! Fine. Ah! Whoa! Ah. Got it. Did I make it? Oh, oh. Yikes. Ah. Oh. That was scary. Brandy's here. Hey, Brandy, don't forget to resubscribe, okay? By the way, dogs on this one are instant kill. Really? Yeah. It's scary. Ooh, look at those visuals. Really annoying is what it is. So, I would prefer brighter colors, but, I mean, it is at night. But the, the visual detail is excellent. That submarine base is our final stop. Once we're in, we move to secure the objective. He wants us to secure it, but he won't tell us what it is. Kingsley's been dancing around that since the get-go. If you don't have the new series, you know, if you don't have a Series S or X, and you don't have a PlayStation 5... Yay, Brandy, thank you so much for subscribing! You know, subscribing is the best way to support our stream, guys, besides tuning in, of course. So we greatly appreciate it. Anyway, what was my point? You can buy the game for 60 if you don't want the next-gen versions, but that would be a, a pretty short-sighted decision. It's better to pay $10 more and get both versions. We are here to pinch it. What do you think, guys? So important. Why did they not send an army? They did. The six of yeah, us. okay, I guess Mike, his jacket is a little on the dogs in the air. Quiet. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, gosh. Why were we chosen for this fucking I agree, his jacket was weird looking, Brass blowing in the wind. Not quite realistic. And get away clean. An army can't do that. Too loud. Too slow. Which is right. I want subtitles on. Why didn't it ever ask me if I wanted subtitles? Where is it? Safe area, brightness, is it under audio? Uh, I think it's under gameplay. Because I remember noticing it. Okay, let's find it. We're about to be ready to switch over to zombies, though. It looks like we're getting to the end of the mission. Interface. Here it is, under interface. Subtitles on. And you can adjust the subtitle size, which also you can do in Forza. It's really nice that games are starting to let you do that. Okay. Dismiss menu. And there's also an accessibility menu. In and out with those papers before they There we go. Tiny text. Do we understand yeah, Brandy was out of town at a science convention. She just got back today. I haven't really gotten to spend time with her since picking her up. Brandy's got some coughing and snotting. So is this a good point to switch over to zombies? What do you guys think? Uh, the mission's not over yet, just for the record. Oh, okay. Well, how much longer do you think it is? I'll cover you uh, this box I don't know. Call. You have to fight your way through the uh, rest of the train station. Remember I told you at the beginning you have to get to the U-boat. Yeah, you're right. I just, well... I wouldn't mind spending another 15 minutes or so on it. 
don't die too much. Uh, it's not far, much, uh, much further before the story break. I'm getting better at not shooting my guys. <laughs> well, you're they're about to face like against dogs, and like I said, they're I annoying. Time for this. Oh boy. So if you I spot did. a dog, don't ah. have time. Yeah, you crap. Had a bigger up threat. <laughs> like that. I didn't even see it. I was looking the other way. That was scary. Let's get those papers before Jerry's any wiser. Yeah, the mission opens with a dog right there. Gotcha. Then there's going to be uh, another, and then uh, when I'm you get to the door, there will be several. Icky, don't act like you never got killed by a dog. The puffers are so hungry. Oh, okay. Uh, they don't stand out enough. The colors are so muted. Uh, let's, let's try a little bit more. It's embarrassing. Yeah, it's probably a German Shepherd. This is World War II after all. Cover you from this box car. Okay, Christ. where can I be that the that I'll be able to see the dog before it gets to me? Let's get it done. We'll take them out. There it is, I see it. I got that dog. No more dogs, right Tom? Oh, I don't know, that's a that, yeah, that's another. We got a shot though. Throw it back! <laughs> Killing Terminators. Why? Because Schwarzenegger. Schwarzenegger's not German, he's Austrian. I don't know what that means. Do dogs kill Terminators in, in Canada? Yeah, yeah, I'll view my objectives. Thank you. Okay, it's only 83 meters to get there, so I guess we can do this. I did. It's on my bucket list getting hit by a train. Ah. Everybody in the audience, did you guys see Eternals and what did you think of it? Gavin McBacon, I bet you saw it, didn't you? I still have not seen it. But I would like to try to go next week. I'm still avoiding theaters. One of your mods approved that. Okay, it's fine. Thanks. Yeah, well, I mean, that's the thing. If we go, we go on a weekday when it's likely to be empty or nearly empty. And so far, that's worked out for us. Unfortunately for me, we do have my busiest days. Ah. Uh, yeah, that makes it harder. So, did you guys see, yesterday was Disney Plus Day. And Disney made a bunch of announcements and put out some cool videos. Dogs. Have you got to watch any of them, Ryan and... Oh no, they said dogs. I, I hear it. They're uh, doing a lot of stuff. Yeah, I'm amazed yeah. at how many shows they're making. Yeah, Val show, uh, showed me some of them and I was like, oh, cool. <laughs> nice. Yeah, how about the video about Willow? I thought that was quite fun. Oh yeah. Did you yeah, see it, Tom? What they're going to do with Willow. Heck yeah. I didn't watch the, uh, the video, but I just uh, Yeah, it's like three or four minutes, and it's quite entertaining, so definitely worth a watch. And it's on YouTube, too. Ah. Ah. So, Gavin says that he did like Eternals, so that's good. Yeah, we still got to see it. People say the third act isn't that good. I thought the third act wasn't that good in Shang-Chi, so I'm probably... I guess I'm used to that. Alright, I got a rifle. Let's rifle it up. Ooh, it's a sniper rifle. I kind of rifle. Heck yeah. Although, like, it takes a dude 20 minutes to pull the rifle out when you pull left trigger. That. Hey, tech guy, good job. Oh no, I hear a dog. Ha, got it. Oh god, there's another one. Man, that sucks. Because I gotta. I should have switched to my pistol. Uh, yeah, they're they're resuming X Men '97, the original X Men cartoon. And I'm very excited about that because I quite like that show. Even though it is, 
it is a bit childish and weird at times, but it mostly tells a pretty good serialized story. Not always serialized, but a lot of the time. So they didn't show anything from it. I mean, it really, it would have been nice if they'd animated a little teaser thing or something. But they're getting almost all the principal voice cast back, except for a few people who died. Like Cyclops' voice died, unfortunately. But that is classic Cyclops. God damn it, I can't see! They're coming out fast! Watch out! Dying port? Yeah. The Cyclops sucks. Uh oh, I hear the dogs. Okay, where's the other one? Oh! <sighs> See, even when you know it's coming. Why would they have instant death kill enemies? I mean, if anything, the dog is less dangerous than getting shot by bullets. You're assuming they're reacting to how real life works. Yeah, I mean, that's what they should be doing here. Move it! Everyone inside! And the pups like, are always going for the jugular. That's true, but they don't necessarily definitely get you. God damn it, I can't see! They're coming up off! Watch out! Oh, now I died from just getting up in the enemy's faces too much. This is embarrassing. But this is quite towards the end of the series, right? Oh yeah, the animated yeah, Spider-Man cartoon. Up. What's that gonna be like? I didn't actually see anything about it. Inside. I'd love to go inside. Maybe the set piece was a little better designed. I'm running. Stop shooting me, please. Thank you. Whoa, they're just like shooting me all up in the back. Here's an idea. Try shooting at the other guys. Mm -mm. Not so good at shooters. It's about his freshman year before Civil War. I see. So I can see why they would do that as a cartoon. Firstly, it's way cheaper. And secondly, because he continues to age, so making him look younger wouldn't be that easy, would it? Have both of you guys watched What If? Everyone inside. I've only watched like one episode. Only one? Yeah. We watched episode two last night when my friends came over. It's one of my favorite episodes. It was quite fun. But that's too bad, Tom. You should make the time for it. There's too much to watch these days, dude. Well, but they're short episodes. <laughs> they're only half an hour. All right, oh, let's yes, skip it. Literally millions of shows. No! <laughs> I'm so low on bullets that I ran out of bullets after killing the first dog, and the second one killed me. Use the grenade. Stay away from the door. I can't pick up the sniper rifle because it's so slow. It wouldn't help. Yeah, I'm just getting like way the heck away from the door and looking for ammo right now. Let's see if how about this? It's good. That's not a sniper rifle. It's still pretty s action. slow to pull up, though, so it's not going to help, is it? We'll see. Oh, actually, sniping that guy would be a good idea. That would be a very good idea. But he did, you can see the sniper dogs are coming. So stay to the one side. Gotcha. And focus on the dogs, because frankly, they're the bigger threat. Yeah, biggest threat for sure. Much more oh, yeah. then you can take out the sniper. Move it! Yeah. Everyone inside! It's probably both, but Tom Holland, he I mean he looks young, but he's older than he is. The only one who never looked young at all was Toby Maguire. Oh, Kevin McVacon subscribing. That's very nice of you. Thank you. Look at that guys. Be be more like him. I'd say this when both of my friends on mic are already subscribed. Oh, I thought you meant I should <laughs> No, that's definitely not what I meant. Okay, you need to get close enough to the door where they throw smoke, and then back away, because the two dogs are going to be coming after the first group of soldiers. Okay, they just threw the smoke. Yes. Throw, throw a grenade into the smoke, that's your best option. option. Don't run okay. away. I threw two grenades, how about that? Okay, I see them. Could have gotten them if you just stood by and killed the grenades right away. Both dogs are dead. At least I killed the dogs. There's going to be two more dogs after you kill this first group. Let's go, Platinum. Dang, two more? Yes. I don't approve. 
Yep. So when they throw the next smoke. Throw up in yeah. here. Another smoke? Seriously? Yep. My guys are just not helping properly right here. It's one of the parts oh, where it's going, supposed everybody. to be hard. I think it has more to do with uh, you not helping yourself. Well, I want them uh, to do the work for me. Apparently you stood far enough back that it didn't happen. <laughs> um, I can live with that. Search the body. I like searching enemies' bodies, which you also do in the Sniper Elite series. Oh, yeah. Okay, let's get through here. Look for the command run. This must be it. Yeah, I haven't found any collectibles in this one. So I don't know if they're doing collectibles this on uh, Vanguard. The if they don't, then good. But if they're here, that just means they're kind of hard to find. <laughs> hey, it's not my fault, Dark Player. But party. PETA does suck. Looks like they left in a hurry. Yeah, a lot of stuff in here. That's nice. Pretending to look for things. Yeah, whatever. What do we do? Machine pistol. I want a machine pistol. You have to take the envelope off the desk. Which desk? The desk that everybody else is standing around. Well, then why aren't they getting it? Because they're waiting on you. Tell them I said they're they the You're quite literally going to the wrong desk. It's the one with a giant window, dude. Wait, oh, that one. The one out of his hand? Are we going to meet Hellboy down, here? Go to the opposite side of the desk. You'll see. There it is. Okay. Yeah. That's not an envelope, it's a clipboard. But He's going to hand you the envelope in a moment. I see. <laughs> he thinks you sound like Solid Snake, Tom. So what are we waiting for? Time to bring the heavy stuff. Now we're tough. Wait. It's the first time I've ever gotten a compliment on my uh, voice. <laughs> He's like, all those, all those years of drinking glass have really paid off. It makes no sense. It's like leaving the crown jewels on the front porch. Hardly anyone watching them. The entire German army should be guarding this place. Yep, Gavin, these are two of my best online friends. We're not the only ones who don't know what Phoenix is. <laughs> You're saying Nazis are way better than his offline Nazis. friends. I'm saying the ones in charge of secrets are the most dangerous. Yeah, that's why we brought the guns. Well, to shoot them. yeah. My offline friends are cool, but yeah, I'm, my online friends are, you know, I have more in common with them for sure. Which is always a plus side. Yeah. Ask a so uh, sociologist, that's actually a bad side. <laughs> well, I mean, it's just, you know, it's not easy to meet people who are just like you in real life. In a bigger city, it would be easier. But, you know, I live in Texas and there are many people who are more conservative or just, you know, they're into outdoorsy activities, which I'm not. Go to San Antonio. Don't shoot us or we'll leave without you. Uh, unpleasant weather there. Beautiful yes, place, though. So, um, yes, exactly. Plenty to do and some actually really nice people there. Yeah, no, and even Houston has has some pretty cool people, too. Just, But I like it where we are. Although sometimes I'm tempted to pick a state that isn't run by such corrupt evil people, but, you know, that can change anywhere you live. The state not on this planet? Well, I don't know, you know. California or Washington would probably be a better fit, I bet. No, they're like still that. corrupt evil people, they're just not stupid. Or deliberately stupid, I should say. <laughs> yeah, not deliberately. Ah. This gun has... Okay, it's not hitting him, but... I like the sound it makes when you fire it. <laughs> That's a short-range weapon, dude. We <laughs> tech Guy appreciates yeah. my longer mustache. Thank you, Tech Guy. He says it looks epic. Then it was all worthwhile. So yeah, the, the mustache is definitely for the audience and not for me. Too bad Simu Chippewa is not here. He likes to grow long mustaches during your, November. Take advantage of your grenades, dude. Oh yeah, good idea. <laughs> take down. Get out of my face. Thank you. Wait, 
takes a long time to reload that particular weapon. Oh crap. Get to cover. I'm gonna die. Yep, I died. Knew it. Hey, it's Fastful. Glad you made it. No time's having a great time with Forza. I'm gonna wait a little bit for Forza until they get the. This, you know, until the patch comes out, because it's pretty ridiculous how buggy it is right now. Well, the single player is fine, it's the multiplayer is buggy. But those menus yeah. pop up the whole time while you're playing, the, the error messages and stuff, and that's yeah, very they're just in a, They're just in the top of the screen, so they're not actually in the way of anything. Yeah, it's I not mean, like it's actually stopping your gameplay. Yeah, it could be worse. Go to Horizon solo mode, and it'll stop having the pop ups. Okay, I guess I could do that, but I would rather just wait until it will work the way it's supposed to. I mean, I like the online functionality. Of the, well, the funny thing is, unlike the previous ones, you can't choose solo. It has to eject you to solo. Oh, dang, I didn't know that. Yeah. It's really stupid. No grades, grenades remaining. Whoops. I mean, I, I get it to, uh, to one degree, but the other degree of what the heck. Yeah, if it's not working, then, then it's bad. Uh, it could be as bad as what uh, 2K is doing with uh, the GTA games, where they're all completely broken. Yeah, and that sounds the solution was, eh, we'll just turn it off. Keep moving. The funny thing is, it's not even the game's fault that it's not playable. It's the stupid online features that for an offline game. Yeah, that's not good. I hear the rain makes it really hard to see and that the night lighting is bad and stuff. Okay, let's see how this goes. Well, somehow they managed to it enhance the game with worse graphics than what it shipped with. Yeah, that's messed up. <laughs> Some things look I, better, I'm many things look up. worse. Yep. Just die, fools. Come on, that that one. I'm doing a little better, I guess. I'll pull that apart. We're running out of time! Stop these about to leave! Not run out of bullets. Who's shooting me now? Enemy. Ammo would be nice. Yeah, I don't like the constantly running out of ammo and having to switch guns. I mean, like, in a way, the switching guns is good for variety, but do run out of ammo on guns I actually like. Nobody cares. Oh, I guess we better kick this up, though. So we're going that way now? That looks like the sub. Can I just run up to it? There's going to be plenty of enemies to fight, so... So don't do that. Yeah. Oh crap, I didn't throw that grenade. See with Gasha. Well, maybe I would if I had any bullets. And that's why I say caution. <laughs> <laughs> Not everybody else is fucking at you, please, Gamma. I only miss like half the time. Yeah, so, yeah I mean, it's double the ammo. <laughs> Forza Horizon 5 is awesome, but again, it's just very off-putting to me that it is halfway broken right now, or partially broken. I don't That's like the it. But, I mean, it's only a little while till they fix it. Too long, but still, I can wait. It's not like I have a ton of free time anyway. Who's shooting at me? Alright. Okay. Where? Where are we? Down and to the right. Down and to the right. If you say so. <laughs> so what have you guys been up to this week? I did a lot of driving and a lot of working. Those a lot are... of working. I'm coming, I'm coming. Really nice interiors and whatnot. There's a hat. Jono says he has no issues since earlier this week, but Tom, were you having issues pretty recently? Yeah, I know Royal... the issues are definitely still going on. Yeah, Royal Bob's still 
Yeah, Icky seems Let's to be doing the most absolutely no issues there. Oh, finally. Yeah, I guess they prioritized uh, Asia over the rest I of the world. Yeah, there's just some difference with the ahead. servers for some reason, whatever it is. Seriously, guys. Dudes are rude. Get back. Get so back. very rude. So another thing on Disney Plus, guys, there's a 14-minute sizzle reel about Marvel. You know, just like Marvel movies and TV shows. It includes highlights of all the Disney Plus exclusive shows and such, but it also has teaser footage of the new shows that are coming out, including Miss Marvel, which looks fantastic. But there's not that much footage, but what there is looks very good. She-Hulk also... I don't know if they showed anything from Echo. Isn't oh, Echo Max, uh, TV series? Open. Oh yeah, that too. Which, you know, Big Hero 6 is a good movie, but it didn't really stick with me or anything. But, you know, definitely going to be a good family show. Oops, I went exactly the wrong way. Oh yeah, Obi-Wan Kenobi, that's going to be great. And there is teaser footage of that now too, isn't there? We're on a boat. A U-boat. Okay, dude. No back. Got a safe cracker. Do the honest, will you? Is that me? Sure. I'm the safe cracker after all. Arthur, <laughs> the sirens have stopped. That can't be good. We gotta move. Now. No back help me. I still haven't watched any of the Disney Plus animated Star Wars content. We should probably try some of it out. I mean, we all love Mandalorian. Finally, we reached the end of the level. And I want an achievement for that, darn it. Have I gotten even one yet? I don't think I have. Oh, we got captured. Boy, really, we really sucked it up at this, didn't we, guys? Pretunculus. <laughs> Pretunculus? Is that like saying ginormous? Hey, it's an Australian guy, Jono! As long as the Australian guy doesn't get killed, I'm going to his Jono. A Cambridge man. You know better than to ruin the man's evil. <laughs> Once this cutscene ends, we'll switch to zombies. Beethoven's forza matter. How's the download progress, Platinum Maestrick? But demanding. Also, didn't you say you were gonna join Discord voice? Oh, he is in Discord hey. voice. There he is. Hey guys. Yeah, Hello, sorry about that. Okay. So what's your <laughs> my, my, what's your progress? Ten minutes. Um, it looks like it hit twenty gigs and it just started slowing down. So I'm just trying to get through the remaining. Okay. Almost darker player. Please proceed. Your Rhineland accent. You must be from Neustadt. During the occupation, you saw French soldiers who looked like me carry guns in your streets. Okay. Marry your women. That's what I hear when you speak German. Hmm. <laughs> He's talking mess to the German dude. Charlie. We thrashed you once. Hear those bombs? That's us thrashing you again. Interestingly, you can see mist. I mean, you can see the dude's breath, the German guy's breath. I'm not noticing it from the other guys. Maybe I'm just missing it. I told you already. It's kind of occasional, though. Yeah, please read my articles. That's what you want. I did write another article this week, guys, about Bassmaster Fishing 2022, which Tom helped with that article, so that was nice. Oh. 
I tolerated I the game. <laughs> you and me both. But uh, but they were happy with the article, so it worked out. Ah, oh, ca oh crap. Oof. Man, he hit me with a chair. Oh, he's giving me the beatdown. Ow. What do you say? Ah. What did I do? Ouch. Stop. Ouch. You just can't trust this dude with chairs. Ow. Yeah. Cruel. This was a bit. I don't think I'm actually dead, though. At least not yet. Yeah, that was scary. You tell him, guys. I'm glad my name's not Polina. Or cinematics. That's okay, dude. As long as you answer when we ask you stuff or whatever. Jesus Christ. Yeah, I had a steel series and the sound the microphone quality was quite poor on it. It was a long time ago. How exactly is this Arthur's fault? This is on him. Look at those faces. They are very realistic. Bastard abandoned his team. Well, you're right about Wade. If he shows his face again, I'm bloody killing myself. Oh yes, let's keep blaming each other instead of the Germans. Why is there a lady? <laughs> is that supposed to impress me? Relax. One of the team members is a Russian. It does not matter. I see. Reisinger is going to kill us all. Reisinger. Yeah. The Nazi. She's pretty cool. The one who killed Novak. Old friend of yours, is he? We have history. Oh yeah, what kind history? of Reisinger? Arthur will get us out of this. No, I want to hear what about the history. He wasn't always. But I've seen him in action. You lose men. That's war. Sometimes the only way to honor a fallen soldier is to finish the mission. Yeah, that's reasonable. I try remembering that. Give me an achievement for being the level. Oh, Come on, guys. He looks like Star Lord. Oh. Well, I'm glad yours is good, Gavin. Yeah. The one I had, it I mean it was several years ago. What it's like to lose men. To have them die trusting you. And it's only one way to learn that lesson. Good on that detail. Are we seriously doing a flashback mission? This looks like it just transitions from one mission into another. Yeah. So case, Should I exit? Good call. Well, we've got. If we can wait just a little bit longer, then our friend could join us. Yeah, Dark Six, we're about to switch to zombies mode. What's your percentage now, Mac? Four minutes. See, so we can just let the cutscene go on longer and then switch to zombies. Although, doesn't zombies have an intro cutscene? Yep. So, that would be another option. I don't know, I, I mean, I like what I'm seeing here. It's like watching a horror movie. Whoa! What was that That movie set in World War II where a girl gets attacked by a gremlin on a plane? That was a fun movie. Uh, I know what movie you're talking about. I don't remember the name. It has, it has uh, uh, who's that uh, chunky chick in it? It's a blonde lady. She's from yeah. She's been in a lot of like uh, more love stories type of movies. It's not Christina Ritchie, but she kind of no. reminds me of her. Well, <laughs> no, uh, Ritchie's the the tiny one that looks young. This is the other one. Yeah, fair the, point. Oh, the one from Hit. This it's Hit Girl, isn't it? Yeah. It's, yeah. It's, it's Hit Girl. There you go. Yeah, that, that was just a fun movie, although, I mean, they killed a lot of people on the plane, you know, and I didn't necessarily think they all should have been killed, but, but it was, I mean, how many movies about people fighting gremlins do you get to watch? Not that many. And it's not the Steven Spielberg kind of gremlin, it's the real kind. That's all basically right. somebody took uh, the Twilight Zone uh, Captain Kirk episode and turned it into a movie. Yeah.
and put a uh, female empowerment spin on it. There's that. Everybody, we've been playing Call of Duty Vanguard for Xbox Series X. It's also on PlayStation 4 and 5, regular Xbox, and PC via Battle.net. Our friend Platinum Astrick was playing on PlayStation 5 while we all played on Xbox Series S or X because this has cross-platform multiplayer, which is terrific. This has been a really fun experience. You know, the campaign is very flashy and exciting, which apparently the story's not very good or authentic to history, but... I don't really care about that. Like, I play this game for a real popcorn-type experience, and I think you, if you keep that mindset, that you'll enjoy it more than if you were hoping for historical accuracy. But the Zombies mode, wow, this Zombies mode is very interesting. Your goals are clear, and uh, the graphics, the art style for it is great. So, yeah, wow, what a fun experience. So I want to thank my co-hosts who all played along with me tonight. Perfect Zero, you rock. Always a pleasure. Wolflade, Ryan, great to see you, dude. Always fun. And Platinum, thank you for downloading the game in a hurry and playing with us tonight. I'm glad we were able to play. No, thank no, you thank guys. You guys. Uh, this, was uh, this was amazing. This was really, this cool. was really cool. Heck yeah. Thanks to Icky for running the contest. Thanks to all you guys for hanging out with us. Remember, we stream every Saturday at 9 p.m. Eastern, 6 p.m. Pacific. It's always a different game, and we always have cool prizes to give out. We really appreciate your support. We'll see you next week. And remember, don't hate. Appreciate Bye guys. bye guys thank you <laughs> too bad tyler couldn't join us tonight what an sob so let's call out the names of the people who are still with us mta rails great to see you dude nice to catch up a little bit shitsu on you deadpool made it we had jono spazpole was here earlier gavin mcbacon my favorite nephew who else who else not that VDH, of course. VDH popped up eventually. That was good, too. Jesus Ninja. We love us some Jesus Ninja around here. No time for games. Darker player, naturally. BX Latino Heat, I believe, was here. Thyrenia. Uh, Thyrenia, yeah. We love that Thyrenia lady. I know you love her the most.